This is Ron Higgins, SEC and LSU columnist for Noble.com and Times Picune. I just finished writing a column about the LSU Ole Miss series and how great it is that it's got some pizzazz back this year. Since Ole Miss is number three in the country, undefeated 7 0, LSU snuck back in the rankings. For the first time in a long time, there's a, a buzz about this game, a feeling about this game that it hasn't been around in a while. Uh, that's because Ole Miss hasn't entered this game ranked since 2003. And before that, I think it was 1969 or 70. Uh, and for a series that was built on so many great games in the late 50s and early 60s, and they just kind of disappeared after 73. Uh, the, I mean, Ole Miss didn't went, you know, went down the drain a little bit. LSU had some troubles. And the series never really got back to where it was even again. But one of the things I want to, in my column that you'll see is that I have in there that uh, one of the things I have that have always moved with me from town to town is an empty whiskey bottle called Rebel Yell. And it was a bottle that uh, was involved in a 1964 bet between my father, LSU Sports Information Director Ace Higgins, and Ole Miss Sports Information Director Billy Gates. And the winner of this bottle of whiskey uh, would get to drink it uh, after the game. And needless to say, after LSU's 11-10 victory, thanks to Doug Morrow's two-point conversion catch, here's the empty bottle, and my dad had a hangover. So the, I make sure he I showed the bottle. I wrote about it. It is real. It's right here. That's part of the LSU Ole Miss lore, at least in my family. This is Ron Higgins for Noble.com and Times Picune, and thanks for watching.